Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is Ultimate Adventures of the Ultimate Alliance. Okay, sorry. Uh, Ultimate Adventures of the Ultimate Alliance is a three to six player game. It's a judging style game in which you're going to be playing as one of the ultimate heroes of the Ultimate Alliance. There's six to choose from. There's additional bad guys and badder cards that are attached to them. There's locations and there's gear cards. And what's gonna be the idea is you're gonna become a character. You're gonna get a piece of gear like, I don't know, let's say a folding chair, and then you're gonna have to face a bad guy. That bad guy could be, I don't know, combat flamingos that happen to also be Antarctic vampire combat flamingos, and of course, a a location like the aquarium and you're going to be discussing with other players how you're going to be to stopping this this ultimate scary bad guy with your character and its weapon what's interesting as well as in this judging style game you can also choose to team up with another of the ultimate heroes and uh, try and combat the bad guy together where somebody else might just be by, be by himself now there's one player who's gonna play as like the mayor of the town of the judge and will determine if that plan is the most suitable for the job and give points based on the batter cards to the players or player who he deemed uh, appropriate to win. There's scoring points in the game in which you're going to be trying to uh, accumulate a certain amount of points uh, to win the game. And of course you can keep playing as much as you want. It's a, it's a basic style judging game with an interesting little superhero twist. Anyway, let me go and show you the game and all the components down below. So here we have the components for Ultimate Adventures of the Ultimate Alliance. And as you can see, you're going to get a load of cards here. You're going to get location deck, batter cards, bad guy cards, hero cards, and gear cards, along with some scoring tokens that you can go and use as you'd like. There's a rule book for the game and of course the box which shows all the crazy superheroes. And in the game, you're going to be getting these six different superheroes or five different superheroes, along with additional ones on the Kickstarter campaign to my knowledge. There's also a ton of different bad guys like sharks, ghosts, skeletons, uh, cavemen, so on and so forth, and batter cards that do a whole bunch of stuff like, I don't know, maybe you're gonna have a fishing style zebra or a jaywalking monster or tax frauding, so on and so forth. There's also locations. You've got the supermarket, you've got the museum, you've got the old meatloaf factory, and you're basically going to be combating them, but your heroes need a weapon. They need gear, right? Like, like, like maybe five pans from a six piece kitchen set or a manual for a TV stand written in Dutch. How about a mostly docile crocodile or goggles that happen to not be UV protected or even a utility belt, right? These are the basic components of the game. Let's go above and talk about how to play the game along with what you're gonna be using throughout the game. Beginning of the game is pretty simple. You're gonna simply start with a hero. For instance, I'll have Dr. Ox. He's armed with a mystical and legendary ox force and Dr. Ox also has the strength and stubbornness of an ox. You're also going to need a gear card, such as I'm going to be using my favorite folding chair here. And then the, the judge or the mayor is going to simply pick a bad guy, like an angry chef, as well as two batter cards, like uh, showtime dancing, counterfeiting angry chefs. And this is going to be the bad guy for the round. He's also going to need to pick a location, like maybe the aquarium here, fish, sharks, whales, and all the sea life you can think of, but no sushi. Everybody else is also going to get a gear card and a hero. And then, of course, around the table, it's going to go discussing who is going to win the fight based on the items they have and the powers they're using with their hero. The judge is, or Judge Romero is going to decide who the winner is and score points based on the batter cards, such as the, the uh, Showtime Dancing guy is worth three here and the counterfeiting is worth, worth one. The interesting unique twist to it is you can actually have heroes team up with each other. Um, and of course, you can score points together provided that the mayor picks you. If the mayor picks you, if it's a four player game, there's one mayor and then you got two players playing together, working together as a team with their items and one player by himself, that one player wins on his own. He's going to score points all by his lonesome though. So it might not be best to team up, and it might be as well. Sometimes you're going to have like a three-wheeled car, and another player is going to have that spare tire you need to make that full car for the ability to make sense. And that's the basic idea. It's going to keep going around. A new mayor is going to be chosen, and players are going to be fighting against these bigger and badder bosses throughout the game. Whoever has the most points by the time you're done is the winner. Let's go ahead and show you down below a couple versions of the game and what people might say. No, we'll do it above here. I'll talk about it myself. All right, so I've got Grant here, and he's going to play the mayor of the town, as well as he's going to show me the bad guy I'll be fighting, and the character I'll be using is going to be Rebound along with my amazing stethoscope. Now Rebound's pretty cool. He's, un he's unable to catch anything, but he is able to reflect incoming projectiles and debris as well as insults. Pretty useful, right? With my amazing stethoscope. What am I fighting? Oh no, heroes. A cruise ship full of our, our most richest philanthropists that donate to my cause have been uh, beset by snowmen who are both psychic and multi-armed. Who has a plan to deal with this menace? Oh, a multi-armed tentacled snowman who's also psychic on a cruise ship? I guess this is a job for rebound with my stethoscope. I plan on bouncing back and forth through the ship, 
uh, with my stethoscope in hand attached to my ears and uh, then listening to the heartbeat of the uh, snowman all while at the same time bouncing off of him and then pushing him into some kind of electrical field which will shock him just enough to have his heart stop because I'll know uh, how much I need to shock him based on my powerful stethoscope uh, which tells me how fast his heart is beating. Are you the only hero answering the cause? I mean, yeah. Then you're up for the job! Yeah! So hopefully that gave you a small sampling of how the game's supposed to be played. Now, of course, it has to be, it's supposed to be played with even more players, right? So I'm not the only person up for the job. It could be multiple people. And I could also try and team up with my stethoscope and rebound himself to uh, pair up with maybe the Howler, right? And her amazing, oh, I don't know, brush or toothbrush. Brush or toothbrush, wow. <laughs> One piece of tinsel, <laughs> superhero gloves, and try and combat the bad guy ourselves, or of course together. But that's the basic idea of the game. So what do I think of the game Ultimate Adventures of the Ultimate Alliance? Well, first of all, the artwork is, I would say it's like a parody of all these other style games, like Super Fight and all these other kind of judging games. And while I don't think most people are gonna enjoy the artwork, I think it makes me, it cracks me up. I have seriously laughed, I haven't laughed harder at a game than this one because of the fact that like, all the superheroes, in my opinion, and I don't know if this is gonna be a good thing or a bad thing, but they're all awful. <laughs> all just like nuts. Like who wants to have the power of Oxen? Or, let me show you these heroes, okay? We have Trigger Happy. He's overstocked with an array of explosive as, explosives and he's often too quick to draw and ruin stealthy strategy. And then you've got the Wailer. It's literally a, a female that is able to wail incredibly loud and she doesn't actually hunt whales. So she just yells really loud. And like, my favorite one is the ox, right? They armed the mystical and legendary ox force. Like what, I don't, I don't even know. But yeah, so it has that comedy value to it. All the gear is terrible too, uh, most of it. But it all should be. That's one of my big critiques. I want it all to be awful gear. And I want all the bad guys to be really, really scary, right? I think it's more funny that way. It reminds me of like that South Park thing where you've got all the terrible superheroes that the kids play in South Park and they're fighting against things like Cthulhu and super scary monsters and like oh a mint berry chip man and I'm gonna fight against Cthulhu by the power of mint and berries uh, sharks is cool and ghosts an evil character the evil version of the character on your left skeletons a rock monster and animatronic president sentient pie so I actually want them all to be bad all super super duper scary and everything you have to fight with is terrible and you all are superheroes with terrible terrible powers so that makes it super funny to me I really enjoyed that aspect of the game um, but as it stands there's only like five heroes in here. I think there's a couple more on the Kickstarter, but what I would really, really like to see is like 60 heroes and like dump out, I don't know, get rid of a bunch of these th cards, the gear cards, and instead exchange them for a bunch of like weird, crazy superheroes. Because I think that's what really entertains me in the game. And a lot of the people who are playing with me, they wanted to see super like bizarre heroes with bizarre themes because it has that aspect to it. Now I think a lot of people are probably gonna be turned off based on the art of the game as well as the fact that it is yet another judging game. There's a lot of judging games out there and you have to choose between them, right? And I've reviewed tons and tons of them. It's basically become a genre now and um, you're probably not gonna own more than a couple of them. But if you like a parody on judging games and you enjoy the the, the weird uh, superhero theme where you're fighting with a bizarre hero along with like a bizarre weapon, if you even call a folding chair or a brush or a snow globe a weapon, I don't know, but you have to enter twine them in the stories and it just like how do I do this why at first I was like I'm not really digging this game but then the more I play it the more I'm less like this is this is bonkers it's so bonkers that that I just enjoy it more heroes though a bunch more heroes I want as it stands personally I may I, I, I'd be like right on the fence with this one because I don't have enough heroes to, to where I'd want it. Um, it's, I, want, I want the Super Alliance to be like 100 heroes. That's <laughs> just me personally. But anyways, it's up to you guys. You can go ahead and check the description below if you think Ultimate Adventures of the Ultimate Alliance is something you'd be interested in the description below currently on Kickstarter. All right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. If you like this video, you can check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. It all does help and we do greatly appreciate it. As well as checking out our website, Unfiltered gamer.com we got tons of blog posts giveaways kickstarter lists and more you can still go ahead and pick up the game fires of eidolon which is currently up for giveaway as well as the broken tokens organizer for the game rising sun it's the daimyo edition so it comes with everything you need it's not the game but it's the entire organizer and you could go ahead and pick that up as well if you get lucky enough um, thank you 
as well to my friends at everythingboardgames.com and the giveaway geek as well as uh, show me how to win another little um, basically a all-female group of uh, a panel that teaches you how to win the in the most strategic ways in the newest and most interesting games um, you want to check out the channel as well in the description below all right guys well thank you for watching as always I love you I appreciate you and I look forward to fighting a city wrecking banjo playing vengeful foe who you wronged six years ago I waved to you and you didn't wave back now we're foes next time <laughs>